What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel in another video. Today, I got something really awesome for my birthday that's coming up. So we got these cool 3D printed cups. I also have this nifty funnel that has like different compartments and a, this really cool idea. And then this, this little guy right here. So I got all kinds of stuff, but today we're gonna use this one. I'm trying to make something that maybe resembles a flower or or something, what have you, but yeah, this thing is so cool. Awesome. So with that, let's get into the colors we're using. So the base is gonna be an ivory black, and then these are the colors that I'm gonna be layering in the little, uh, I don't even know what it's called, compartment cup, I guess? I don't, it ain't a split cup, but yeah. So this is mixed, all my colors, are mixed and the base is five parts Floetrol, one part paint. In the colors, there is one to two drops of silicone. Those cups are three ounce cups. I'm gonna do what I normally do. Put a little spot in the middle because I definitely don't want the uh, silicone to touch the canvas. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. I don't even know a good way to put paint in this cup, so we're just gonna do this. Pink. <laughs> and I'm gonna put a spot of yellow in the middle. And then we're gonna do some white. Now I'm wondering if it's gonna, if these colors are gonna like kind of mix since they're traveling off the side. Maybe if I used a little dropper or something. I don't know. All right, so we got yellow. Let's put some white. Because so I want to have a, a white between the blue and the yellow, because I don't want too many greens. All right, and then we're gonna do like a baby blue, and then see how it ends up. I'm sure I mixed entirely too much paint, but that is the trend with me. I typically do that. And how's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing great. Had my first only uh, members live stream last night. I mean, I already had a couple questions that were emailed to me that I wanted, that, you know, y'all wanted covered. Um, if you're not a member, I'll put a link in the description of the video. You'll get you know, access to me kind of in a smaller setting of people. That way, if you have a question, you're more likely to get your question answered and we can elaborate more with specifics and all that. But yeah, it was cool. So I answered as many questions as I could and it was pretty cool. So, ooh, missed the cut. Can't talk and pour paint at the same time, Johnny? How are you struggling painting and talking at the same time? All right, so I'm filling some of these up a lot more than the others. And that's okay, I guess. That's okay. Because maybe that'll change some of the dynamics of the color. Let me put a little bit of blue in the middle. So we still got to do the middle. And we'll, we'll just do the reverse order. I'll have some pink next to that baby blue. It's gonna be cool, guys. It's gonna be cool. I'm excited. When I opened the box with these things in there, I was like, what? That was such a cool thing. That funnel is gonna be amazing. I really can't wait. Put a little white. So whatever's on the top right now is gonna be what goes around uh, it's gonna come out of the cup last. So, I'm trying to think about that before we. Yeah, I think. Ooh, there I go, messing it up. What the heck, brother? All right. Cool. You should have definitely enough paint to, to do this thing. Let me move some of this stuff out the way. I got a cup of water to put my mold or the uh, thing in. 
All right, let's go. Ooh. Look at that. That is so cool. All right, right into the water you go. Because I don't want the paint to dry on that. That's going to be a nightmare to clean. All right, let me grab this heat gun and pop a little bit of the bubbles that are in it. Now I used a I used a black as the base because I didn't want the colors to turn pastel, but I also didn't want them too dark, so I also layered white with it. So, so right now I'm just popping surface bubbles, maybe coaxing a little bit of that um, silicone to the surface. I think we're good. I think there's enough here to where when I do spread it, it won't start rolling under. This is awesome. <gasps> Whoa. Okay, so this did some really wicked looking stuff. What the heck? This is very, very like, I don't know, like fantasy, kind of like a portal. That little spin that I did at the end really kind of like added some cool effects to the center. Let me hit this thing one more again with the heat gun. Now that we spread out those layers, we thinned out the paint. It's probably gonna open up some more areas for cells. This is so cool, guys. This is so cool. I am going to be reaching out to that company that got the cups from and see if I can get you guys like a discount code or a link. So if any of you are interested in it, if I am unsuccessful in that, I'm still going to put a link to those cups in the description so that you can find them. But let's get down here, check this thing out, because this thing is super dope. Heck yeah. Would you just look at this thing? All the colors stayed pretty brilliant. No real mud or anything. This came out a lot better than I had anticipated. I'm really loving the middle of this thing. <laughs> 